From the World Wide Web, this is Reflections of a Rabbi. One drop of honey makes a world of difference. One drop of honey makes learning sweet. Add one drop of honey to Talmud Torah, and you've got a team that can't be beat. All starts with the children. Open minds and Yesterday, Dahlia, my eldest daughter, tied her first pair of tzitzit. She tied them on a talit made out of fabrics that she had chosen and we had put together for her. And we did this in preparation for her becoming a bat mitzvah. I remember the first time I tied tzitziot, the fringes that adorn the corners of four-cornered Jewish garments, particularly the talit. I remember tying them for the first time I was in St. Louis, and the son of the principal of my Jewish high school taught me how to tie. I've never forgotten. Tzitzit are such a powerful symbol for me that I thought maybe this week I'd show you how they're tied and what the significance of all the knots and the strings and the wraps actually means. So let's get started. Tzitzit are made up of a combination of strings, wraps, and knots. So if you look here, I have started with a knot, and if you were tying it onto a talit or another garment, maybe a talit katan, this loop here would be going through the garment. And I have eight strings. It's actually four strings, but doubled over creates eight strings. And if you look carefully toward the end, one string is longer than all the rest. This is called the shamash, the same name that we give to the uh, helper candle on the Chanukiah. This string is going to be the one that wraps around all the other strings. So let's start with some wraps. I'm going to wrap around all the other strings seven times. So I'm using this shamash, making nice, tight wraps. I'm going to make seven of them all together. And once I get these done, I'm going to have to count. I'm going to push them close together and then count, make sure I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks good. And then I'm going to create another double knot. And there's a significance to the knots and to the wraps, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So there's our first part of our tzitziot with seven wraps. I'm going to just keep going like that with a uh, series of wraps and then a double knot. So let's talk about what this all means. Well, in Gematria, which is the, he the study of Hebrew letters and their corresponding numerical values, the word tzitzit, tzadi yud, tzadi yud tav, equals 600. If you add that to the number of strings on the tzitzit, you get 608. Because as I told you before, there are eight strings. And then if you add up all the knots that we're going to end up having, you'll get five knots, which is 13. 600 plus 8 plus 5, 613, all of the mitzvot, all of the commandments. So every time we look at these tzitzit, we're supposed to be reminded of all of the mitzvot, all of the commandments. Let's see how many wraps I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did one too many, so I'm going to back that off one wrap, and then we'll separate this out again, and I'll make my double knot. And if you are tying, you want to remember every time you make the double knot, it's made with four strings on each side, and the shamash is included in that double knot. So there you go. I've got seven, eight. The next set of wraps is going to be 11, and the setup for that will be 13. So what's the significance of the wraps? Well, you have to be able to do some higher math in order to appreciate the meaning of the wraps, but I'll try and explain it to you. Seven is the first set, eight is the second set. Add those together, you get 15. Another way to add up to 15 is 10 plus five. So the Hebrew letter for 10 is yud, the Hebrew letter for five is hey, yud, hey. That makes seven and five, uh, seven and eight rather. So the first two sets of wraps equal yud hey. The second, the, the third set of wraps rather, let's see how many I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. The third set is 11. Well, another way to add up to 11 is six plus five. The Hebrew letter for six is vav, the Hebrew letter for five is hey. 
So now I've got yud Hey vav Hey, which is God's name, Adonai. The last set of wraps is 13. To get 13, I add 1 plus 8 plus 4. Well, 1 in Hebrew is Aleph, 8 in Hebrew is Chet, and 4 in Hebrew is Dalad. Aleph, Chet, Dalad is the word Echad. So not only do these tzitzit remind me of all 613 commandments because of the name, the knots, and the strings, but by looking at the wraps, I'm reminded that Adonai, Echad that God is one. I'm almost done here with all of my wraps. That looks like it's about 13, but I want to be exact. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I need one more. And then some people do this at the beginning, some people do it at the end, but as I tie this knot, there's no blessing for tying tzitzit, but I am going to say l'shem mitzvat tzitzit for the sake of of tying tzitzit, and now I have a complete set of tzitzit with five knots, one, two, three, four, five, eight strings, and seven, eight, eleven, and thirteen wraps. So here's what it looks like after it's all done. This is the tzitzit on my talit. And you might notice that the tzitzit I was tying before didn't have the blue. The blue is called techelet. And according to the book of Numbers, when we wrap our tefillin, they're supposed to have a thread of blue, a thread of techelet. Well, the techelet was uh, derived from a snail or an animal called the chilazon. And for the longest time, we weren't sure exactly what kind of animal this chilazon was. We weren't sure exactly where it came from. But uh, not too long ago, there was a, a claim out of Israel that we rediscovered it, and so many people nowadays are putting blue, this uh, techelet color, this thread of blue on their tzitziot. So some tzitzit don't have, some do have. On my talit and on my tzitzit that I wear every day, my talit katan, I do have the blue. So there you have it. That's how you tie tzitzit. Whether you're wearing it on your talit or whether you're wearing it just on any other four-corner garment that you might have, I pray that you feel bound up in all of the mitzvot and especially in the hug that God gives you every time you wrap yourself in these tzitzit. Until next time, lehitrot.